Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. This is Elizabeth Claire Brewington and Elton Brewington. We are with Brightside Global Trade TV, and we are doing a broadcast to help you empower you and your business and uh, get you on your way. As many of you know, we've been doing reset. We've been get ready, get ready, get ready. And here we are. It is time now to get to market and get your business off the ground. Now, we just talked about uh, insurance with Reginald Laverly, but another important aspect for your business is insurance. And if you don't have insurance starting with your own life and your own family and protecting your own loved ones, then you really need to be rethinking this whole process. So here I have um, Colonel Donna Four, who's gonna introduce us to what she does. And in particular, she's gonna talk to you about yourself, your loved ones, but also, about your business and how to get insured. So thank you, Colonel Donna, for your service and for giving us your time today. Well, thank you very much, Claire. I appreciate that intro. And I, I don't know if James is still on the line, but um, let me check and see if he's still on. Because um, I just wanted to make one more quick comment. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, I'm so, still here. Um, James, I served in the Air Force Okay, I served in the Air Force and I was actually an intelligence officer. So I was very close to operations. So I spent a lot of time around pilots, um, mostly fixed wing, not the helicopters, but I did some work with uh, the Siri guys, the search and rescue guys. So I had some experience with that, but um, just wanted to tell you again, how impressed I was with your presentation. And I'm looking forward to getting an autographed copy of your book. So God bless you. And so glad you were here today. So what I'm here to talk about is, um, Again, for those in the audience, um, I am a 30 year Air Force veteran. Um, I was in Desert Storm and also the Balkan Wars. There were a couple of those. And then my last assignment was the Pentagon and I did survive the attack. Um, nine people I knew well died in that building that day. So James, I can really relate to your sense of feeling regret or some kind of remorse that you survived and other people didn't. So, cause I've had that, I've been carrying that weight around since 9-11. And this year was particularly uh, hard on me because it was the 20th anniversary. So it brought back, you know, all those memories and the um, the people that didn't make it out, but but I did. So um, I have since moved on to a new career since I retired. I work for the New York Life Insurance Company. It's the oldest life insurance company actually in America. It's been around since 1845. The company is so old that at the time that New York Life stood up. The U.S. was using coins for currency. They weren't even using paper bills yet. So it's a very old and strong company. And I'm very proud to work for them. A little known fact about New York life, when the two towers fell down in New York City um, and so many thousands of people perished there, um, a lot of those people had New York life policies. And New York life knew that it's, it's very hard to get a death certificate when you die under unusual circumstances. Obviously, the people that died in those towers died under very unusual circumstances. So New York Life basically told the families, you don't have to produce any documentation. If you call in, we'll pay your claim right away. And they knew that the families were suffering and would need money. So um, they actually paid almost all the claims in one week, which I thought was pretty amazing. Um, the others took about two weeks because there were some complicating factors. But um, just the fact that they went to that much effort and they had to get people to work in the middle of that catastrophe that happened in the middle of downtown New York City was amazing to me. That's why I took the job actually, because I knew that if I'd been one of those people at the Pentagon that didn't make it out, there's no telling how long it would have taken my husband to get a life insurance company to pay my claim. So um, I felt like the company has really gone above and beyond to service and you know take care of their clients, their customers. So. Um, I would be proud to help you and your families. I, uh, my main um, service I provide is to help you with life insurance. I also do financial planning, um, long-term care, which is something most a lot of people are interested in now because they're concerned about how much money it takes to have someone take care of them or to be in a facility. And I will tell you that across the nation, um, Reg kind of alluded to it, but medical bills right now are the single biggest source of bankruptcy across America. So people are going bankrupt just to pay their medical bills. It's a national catastrophe. So um, let me help you and your family with some of those uh, situations you may be coming to that 
need some assistance from a financial planner. Also, I help with retirement funding, education funding for children, let's say the 529 plans that you're familiar with that are offered uh, by many states. We can help with that. Um, another thing that's very important for all the business owners on the line, and James, I consider you a business owner since you're an author now, but you know, you can always have your business insured, which is really important. And in addition to that, the business can pay the cost of your life insurance. That way, if you have a business that you want to continue after something happens to you, you can ensure that there's money uh, left aside in that life insurance policy to keep the, the company going. You know, you can, uh, the, the new owners or the, the new people that are running the company can ensure that there's someone to replace you if something does happen. So if you're worried about that or any kind of uh, instance involving your business, I'd be happy to help you. So it's wonderful to be here today. I've enjoyed all the presentations. Um, everyone has added a lot of value to our health and our wellness. And I consider finances another area of our wellness. Um, you know, Reginald alluded it to it as well. If you're doing great, but your finances are broken, then that's going to contribute to your stress. And then you'll need Jerry to give you that stress formula so that you, you, you don't get very ill from that. But no kidding aside, you know, making sure your finances are in good shape is just a part of, of doing that kind of pre-planning and preparation that we all need to do so that we don't leave some kind of situation behind for our loved ones where they're unprepared to take care of what's necessary when you're gone. So if you're a business owner, definitely please contact me so we can ensure that your business is well insured. And if you're an individual or a member of a family or, or someone that needs a, look, a free financial review, I do those all the time. I'd be happy to do that for you. So God bless everybody. And it's been great to be here today. I've enjoyed everyone. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank you so much. Now, who is LT? I see somebody with LT. Can you show us who you are? Uh, did I miss you? Are you supposed to be speaking? Okay. All right. So now my next speaker, everybody knows him very well. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's uh, one of my favorites, uh, uh, John, uh, Dr. John. Dr. John is, uh, is a well-known uh, author. He is a blogger and he's uh, on many podcasts and I'm so happy to have him with us today. Um, and uh, let me read a little bit about him. Um, so during his medical practice, um, John M. Butilili, uh, MDFRCP did studies to understand the natural causes of hunger and cetacean. Uh, his work was published in several medical journals and he has been quoted over and over again. Um, he's written four fabulous books. Um, and I know in this group, most of us have the first one, which is, uh, I don't think you can see it, but Eat, Chew and Live. Uh, he's also written a book about eight ways to reverse diabetes. Um, and I've actually been on his program and I've actually lost 15 pounds. So I'm a testament for uh, following his practice. Um, and Dr. John re recently spoke at our CDC YMCA uh, Prevent Diabetes program. And uh, we were very impressed. And many of us have been trying a three vegetable course meal with one meat or fish. And uh, it's, it's actually really working brilliantly. Um, so besides that, he's also written books about cancer and oncology. Uh, he's written about uh, surviving cancer and one that is very dear to my heart when your child has cancer. And I think that book is even relevant for those who have children with COVID or um, are suffering from one illness or another. Um, we are living in very troubled times because our children are getting very affected with illnesses at a very young age. And so this is a very powerful book for anyone who is a caregiver of a child. Um, so Dr. John, um, tell, us, uh, tell us more about, um, let's begin from the beginning about who is a diabetic and tell us about uh, uh, type two diabetes. Um, well, thank you for having me. Can you hear me? 